Hey everybody out there, this is Seto. Today for you guys, we are going to be doing a deck profile of a deck that I honestly never, ever, ever thought I was ever going to profile on the channel. However, um, we're doing it, and it's going to be a super fun deck profile, I promise you that. And that is my Giant Soldier of Stone deck profile. Yes, Giant Soldier of Stone with Giant Soldier of Steel. So, you may be wondering to yourself, why are you building this deck? I wasn't expecting it. This is out of left field. Well, what, what decks have I not built that are not out of left field, like Egyptian gods and whatnot? So, so the fact that I'm doing a Giant Soldier of Stone deck must mean in the, near, in the future we are going to get Giant Soldier of Stone support. So, <laughs> how did I come up with this deck? Well, I can't take all the credit. I cannot. Uh, I was watching another YugiTuber's channel, came up on my feed, I watched it, I was like, ooh, Giant Soldier of Stone, and I, I looked at the deck and I was like, you know, I like the way you built it, but I think I can make it even better. So I pretty much have, for the last month and a half, I would say-ish, I have been testing the deck, playing with it at home, um, online, against some buddies of mine that I personally know, against Tier 2, Tier 3. I mean, this is not the type of deck that's going to beat freaking, you know, Orcist or freaking Zombie Dot deck, whatever it is right now. It's not like that. This is a deck that you take the locals to have fun. Strictly that type of deck. And it's a really fun deck. So, without further ado, we'll get into the deck profile. We'll talk about some of the tech cards I've run, how the deck functions, things of that nature. So the nice thing about this deck, first off, is, you know, you have a big booty monster. So, you know, you have a 2,000 defense monster. So, you know, the old adage goes, hey, if you draw br a brick, you can just face down defense mode, 2,000 defense, and hope they don't run it over. Um, the nice thing about Giant Soldier of Stone is he actually has decent attack. If you guys don't know, back in the day, he was the... Um, best normal summon of a monster to ha that had the highest attack and highest defense that you could possibly normal summon. So 2,000 defense was the highest and 13,000 attack was the highest. It was actually more attack than Aquamador. Yeah. So, broken card back in the day. <laughs> kind of. But yeah, he's very useful. So there's some benefits to him actually. Number one, he's an earth. So you can use earth attribute support. Number two, he's a rock, which... I mean, he's rocking it, but it's also a good attribute to have with some indirect support you can use. And number three is he's actually level three, which means you can use level three support. And there's also a fourth thing too, which I'll just briefly mention. He is a vanilla monster, which also is one of the reasons that he actually is useful. And if you guys have never ever wondered what is his flavor text, it says, a giant warrior made of stone, a punch from this creature has earth-shattering results. So yeah, three Giant Soldier of Stone. Next we run three Gemini Lapis. And you may say, why are we running Lapis? Well, it's one of those, it's the same thing that you're, the reasons why we're running Giant Soldier of Stone over here, which is level three, means you can use for exceed plays, earth attribute, nice, also rock attribute. So this allows you to get more access to vanilla type of cards that we can use, uh, you know, Things like Rescue Rabbit, things like Unexpected Die and Rescue Rabbit, like we were talking about, and other things of that nature. So you get to use those other type of cards because these are vanillas. So that is nice to have in the deck. So three uh, Gem Knight Lapis, I would say, is definitely a staple in the deck. Uh, three Sentinel Soldier of Stone. If you've wondered, wait, I've seen this card before, where is it? It's pretty much the retrain version of Giant Soldier of Stone from the movie pack. So when the movie came out, apparently they made this card. And this card is something I've actually used in other decks uh, back when it initially came out for the movie pack. Things like Magnet War, the Magnet Warrior structure deck. Um, I've used it for Terramids, which was like the Pyramid Field Spell deck. There's been a couple of decks out there I've used it in. And so it's a pretty decent card. Not amazing, but it's pretty decent. And it's a nice three of to have in the deck. You can run two of it if you wanted to, but yeah, three of it. Um, next, we run three block golem. Now, the problem I love, I have a love hate relationship with block golem. Uh, same thing goes. Um, it, I mean, uh, 
how can I describe Rock Golem? It's the fact that all your monsters in your graveyard have to be Earth Attribute to use his effect. Which, for the most part, even in the extra deck, that's going to be the case, right? Um, but sometimes he will be dead if you don't, if you have a non-Earth Engrave. So you want to be careful when you're doing that, is all I'm trying to say here. But three Black Golem is really nice to have in the deck. Um, if you guys don't know what Black Golem does, all if all monsters in the graveyard are Earth, you contribute this card to target two level four or lower rock type monsters in your graveyard except Black, Black Golem. Special summon those targets, but their effects that activate on the field can't be activated this turn. So, like I said, all your extra deck monsters, all your st uh, monsters in grave have to be Earth. That's easy to do, but you just have to be careful depending upon if you have a block golem in your hand. That's what I'm just trying to describe here. Uh, next we have three Crane Crane. You may say, why are we running Crane Crane? Well, number one, it's an Earth attribute. Number two, it's a th level three, and it can help you go for Link plays, which is nice, and also it can help you go for level three Exceed plays. It's very useful in the deck, especially because this is a rank three base deck. So I definitely like Crane Crane as a three of in the deck. You could run it as a two of. Yes, it sucks if it gets effect failed or something like that. But it's just a nice card that really have in the deck for its versatility of helping go for links, um, to grab things from the graveyard, and to use those cards that you bring back for link plays and sync and exceed plays. Uh, next, we run three rescue, uh, double rescue rabbit. I don't want to run three of because every time I was running three of, it got kind of bricky. So just two rescue rabbit. If you want to run three of it, be my guest. You can definitely try that out. See if it works for you. But me personally, I just like two Rescue Rabbit in the deck. Next, we run two Block Golem. You could run three, but it does take some setup to really get it. So instead of running three Block Golem, what I decided to run was Lithosagum. Because this entire main deck is Earth Attribute, right? And say you want to really, you have Block Golem and maybe some other Earths. And then you also have. Uh, not blocks, could you mean, say you have Lithosagum and Block Golem, and then you have some other Earths. Well, you can destroy two cards in your hand, bring out this, and then set up for Block Golem. So, yeah, and that aspect is pretty nice. Um, but definitely, I like the one Lithosagum instead of uh, Double Block Golem. And like I uh, instead of, <laughs> instead of uh, Triple Block Dragon, I'm getting Block Golem and Block Dragon confused. Forgive me. Um... So, yes, instead of running three Block Dragon, I decided to run double Block Dragon and one Lithosagum. You could run three Block Dragon if you want to, but like I said, there are combo plays with Block Golem and Lithosagum that you can do, which is cute. Uh, you know, you could either set it up for next turn to do it, so you can maybe go for an Exceed play or something, um, or you can just use Lithosagum on the field. So, these are just kind of like your main deck boss monsters, think of it, in that aspect. Next, we have three, Attack the Moon, because this is a giant Soldier of Stone deck, and they made this card, they made this this famous line from the anime, this famous duel between Yugi and Mako Tsunami, where he attacks the moon and drains all the water on the field so the monster, the sea monsters, are left high and dry at, high, at low tide uh, and all die and Yugi wins the duel because, yeah, that's the way Duelist Kingdom is, right? I, I know the pain as Seto Kaiba, right? Um, yeah, let's not get into that, but yes... <laughs> Three attack the moon. If you guys don't know what it does, I'll read it to you. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock monster you control is changed, is changed, you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls to destroy it. So this is removal for spells and traps, which is de pretty decent. Uh, triple unexpected die. Instead of running three rescue rabbit, which can be dead, unexpected die is usually always going to be live. You know, if you, for setup, like you would, I would prefer to probably draw this. Because I can, it can help me go for link plays. It can help me go for exceed plays, and so it just tutors out from your deck. You know, one of your rock monsters. So you can either bring out Giant Soldier of Stone, or you can bring out, you know, Gym Knight Lapis. So you can easily tutor the, these two out from the deck. And if you even have Rescue Rabbit, you know, 
heck, you could go unexpected die, and then you could also have things like you could save the rescue rabbit for later. Like, there's a lot of versatility you can have with this card, and so I like this as a three of instead of rescue rabbit as a three of, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, but yeah, three unexpected die I feel like is a really staple in this deck because of the amount of vanillas you run. Three catapult zone. This is to help set things up in graveyards, so I definitely like three catapult zone. And one terraforming to boot, so technically you have four copies of this. Essential card to have in the deck, especially with what you're trying to do. So three catapult zone and one terraforming. Scapegoat, upstart goblin. Foolish Burial, Monster Reborn. Let's go explain these here for a second. It's Monster Reborn, why not? Foolish Burial will help help set up for certain plays in your graveyard, um, possibly. Um, I've had this and Block Golem set something to the graveyard, use Block Golem's effect. It's nice. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Upstart Goblin will give you a little bit more consistency. Scapegoat is something I really was not going to run in the deck, and then I was like, well, might as well, because it's Earth Attribute. So this can help you go for a bunch of cool link plays. If you draw it, you draw it. If you don't, you don't. You run a lot of things that you would have run anyways in the deck, just because you're trying to run as many Earths as possible. So, you know, a Scapegoat can possibly lead you up into a Sauja. Um, and then you can go off from there, or you can lead you into a bull sword. Like, this one card can just help you go off. Especially in this deck, when you're already running cards that you would normally run um, for Scapegoat, if you if it was at 3 of. So, yeah, one Scapegoat I really like in the deck. It's very nice, especially because of that reason. For Traps, we run 3 back to the front. Um, due to Catapult Zone, and you're going to be sending a lot of monsters to Graveyard uh, with through Catapult Zone, which you're going to be doing, uh, I would rather run back to the front than say, oh, I don't know, like Call of the Haunted or something, because Call of the Haunted's going to put them in attack position. And a majority of my monsters are going to have higher defense than attack. So, for that reason, as you're understanding where I'm going here through my thought process, is the reason I'm running back to the front. Um, so, yeah, just three back to the front. Uh, next, I run three Stormy Mirror Force. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You can run Impermanence, you can run Ash Blossom, you could run Call by the Grave if you want to. Like, for Pete's sake, this is something I was actually trying out earlier, Call by the Grave, it's great. But I found from playtesting online that the problem I was always having was that even though my monsters may have high defense, you know, and even my monsters in my extra deck are very nice to have and useful, they can easily be run over. So I saw my opponent many times, what they would be doing is they would just try to run over my monster. Rough shot over it, so to speak. And they just run into a storm and mirror force and that would end them. That would clear their board up. Um, so it's something you can try. If you feel more comfortable running in permanence, run it. If you feel more comfortable running Ash Blossom, run it. If you feel more comfortable running Call by the Grave, run it instead. But from playtesting, I found that Storming Force was doing the best out of all of those. You know, besides Ash Blossom, which hits just about every deck out there. But because people were just trying to run over my monsters, um, it just ran into... It, Stormy Mirror Force was doing a little bit more work. So, yeah. And plus, because this deck is a little bit slow, if your opponent builds a board and tries to attack you, you just want to be able to blow it all back to their extra deck and main deck. You know, just get rid of everything. So that's why I decided to run Storm, you know, over those other cards, which, believe me, they are good, and you can try them out if you want to. Like, I would not deny that they would definitely be good assets to the deck. So let us get into the other card, the extra deck now. Uh, give me one second. Uh, extra deck. Oh my gosh, where did I put it? <laughs> we have Lusamine. Uh, we got double Giant Soldier of Steel. If you guys don't know what Giant Soldier of Steel is, this is an old secret rare that came out ages ago, which states, this card is unaffected by other monster effects. Okay. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card to gain 1,000 additional defense until the end of the phase. And if it does, you take no d effect damage from your opponent's card effects this turn. This does require three level three rock-type monsters. So it does take setup. Just saying. Next, double Gorgonic Gung uh, Guardian. Um... Run one to two of this card. This card's always been doing good for me for years. I love this card. There's been so many rock-based decks that I've run this card in. It's just so underrated. 
We also run for just um, Phantom Knight Breakers of the Shadow because it can be useful if you're just trying to get around something. Also, one Living Ear. Um, it's just another great card because you're banishing stuff to use. Um, I like it. One Link Spider. One uh, Azura the Earth Charmer. Two Mrs. Radiant. Run two Mrs. Radiant. You could run also Earth Southern, you know, Earth Charmer, but I like this ratio. Phoenix and Cerberus, which is nice. Also, we run one Unicorn as well. I would, I'm sorry, I put them way over here. And then Sauja. And you may be asking why are you running Sauja? It's an Earth attribute. Uh, which is nice to have for that reason. And then also one Boar Soul Dragon in case you want to just OTK your opponent. So, like I said, you, you'll notice as you see here, you know, Earth Attribute, 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 Earth Attribute. You see I try to put a good, you know, just some basic cards and also some additional cards that could be useful, you know, if you need to go for certain situations. But there are a lot of good Earth Attribute monsters in here, so you can use Block Golem. So, yeah, um, that's the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It's a fun deck, like I said. It's giant freaking soldier of stone. It's not a deck I was expecting to make, but I enjoyed making it nonetheless. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling to all of you. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.